Simple Cafe Sound, illustrated tutorials, short and sweet. Hey yo, run into an unused set of computer speakers? Well, let's put them to use. And I do not mean with just a computer. Check out all these other players you can still use them with. Let's go over them. Conveniently, a lot of these computer speakers come with an attached aux cable. It could be that that connector itself is green like this one we have here which is just color coding to help you connect it to the correct aux port because there may be up to three on your computer. The other two are for a microphone and to get other audio into your computer. And you're gonna be connecting to the green port, which is for headphones, which is sending audio out to a pair of headphones. In this case though, your speakers. And by the way, just in case you're wondering, the cable itself doesn't have to be green. If your speakers don't have an attached aux cable, they'll surely have a port for one. So just go ahead and find any old aux cable and that'll work. I'll leave a link to one in the description in case you don't already have one. So anyway, these speakers are ready to connect to any aux port. So it'll be super simple to use them with any portable media device like a laptop, cell phone, CD, or tape player. On these portable devices, the aux port will be that same headphone jack. Since the headphone jack is there to send audio out to headphones, well, same idea here, but the audio is going to go to a set of speakers bigger than those tiny ones in your headphones. Now, speakers larger than those found in your headphones are definitely going to need some help for the sound to actually come through. So that's why computer speakers come with a pre-installed amplifier. So that explains why out of the pair, there's usually one that's heavier than the other. Because it's got a portable amp in there. All right, now on to older devices, like a VHS or DVD player. Hey, even a projector too. The thing all these have in common is that they put audio out through RCA ports. So long as there are RCA ports labeled OUT, O-U-T, well, you can hook your computer speakers up to them. But you'll need to introduce a splitter. One that can take in your aux cable and on the other end connects with RCA connectors. But this may not be necessary if your speaker doesn't come with a pre-attached aux cable. If it has a line end port like this, you can opt into getting one of these aux to RCA cables and connect like so. Now, just turn your speakers on and no, you won't have to do any other type of configuration. You're ready to go. Got it? Cool. Now onto newer hardware, for example, game consoles and TVs with an optical audio port. It could say digital audio out or SPDIF or even Toslink. Media players with this port can still send audio out to your computer speakers. As you can see on the diagram, however, it actually won't be a direct connection unless your media player does have an aux or RCA port, which reads out or headphones like here. If not, we'll have to bring in a digital to analog converter. It'll take your sound through an optical cable on the input side. And on the output side is where you'll connect your aux or RCA cables. Here's a link to the correct type of converter you're going to need. Just make sure it's called digital to analog. Digital comes before analog. All right. I have a lot more videos to help you get connected. And if you want to keep them coming, well, you can help me stay awake with a cup of coffee. You can go to buymeacoffee.com slash simple cafe, or just look right here below in YouTube with the controls. You'll find a super thanks button. Thank you for your support. And I'll see you in the next video. Hope you get connected.